Welcome back. Let's practice Jung Chung breathing. This is a series of postures designed to help you relax and accumulate energy through abdominal breathing. Begin by lying comfortably on your back with your palms open towards the ceiling. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth feeling your chest rise and fall. After a few breaths, place your hands on the lower abdomen with your fingers below the belly button and thumbs above, making a triangle. Keep your elbows on the floor, even if your hands need to come apart. Bring your awareness down to the lower abdomen as you exhale. After a few breaths, begin to tuck your tailbone, pressing your lower back towards the floor. This will engage your core muscles, helping you to increase awareness and a sense of energy. If this is difficult, Bend your knees and place your feet on the floor. Your lower back will naturally press down. Even if your back doesn't touch the floor, you are beginning to activate that area and gather energy. Breathe slowly and comfortably in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now we are ready for posture number two. Bend your knees and lift up one leg and then the other into a chair pose. Keep pressing your lower back towards the floor and place your knees directly over your hip joints, about one fist distance between your knees. Place your feet slightly above the knee level and flex your ankles gently. If you find this posture difficult, you can keep one foot on the floor and lift the other leg for three or four breaths before switching legs. Imagine breathing in through the soles of the feet where the Yong Chun energy points are located. Keep gathering energy in your lower abdomen. If you need a break, Hug your knees gently and then return to posture two. Over time, you can increase your strength and endurance in this posture from one minute to three, five, or even 10 minutes. Now let's do posture three. Extend the back of the legs and reach towards your toes. If you can, pull your toes towards you and stretch your hamstrings. This will activate and open the bladder and kidney meridians. If you can't reach your toes, just hold the back of the legs while you straighten your knees. Breathe comfortably and pull your sacrum tailbone towards the floor. As you breathe in this posture, the energy meridians along the back side of the body can open and release tension, allowing energy to circulate more easily. This will greatly assist you in feeling energy gathering in the lower abdomen or danjan. While in this posture, you may notice a vibration in the muscles of the legs or lower back. This is normal and represents the release of tension and opening up of energy points. Breathe comfortably from your chest to your abdomen and try to relax your neck and shoulders. Remember, this is a breathing exercise, not just a stretching exercise. 
Try to breathe comfortably. And when you're ready, you can try posture four. This is the posture where you bring your feet over your head, also known as the plow posture. Don't overdo this one, especially not putting pressure on your neck. You can modify this posture by supporting your lower back with your hands while your elbows rest on the floor. Keep breathing comfortably to open up the bladder and kidney meridians. At any point, come back to posture three with your spine resting on the ground. Gradually, you should notice your flexibility increasing. Tension and pressure in the neck and shoulders can be reduced. When you're ready, slowly let your body return to posture two with your spine resting flat on the floor. Tuck your tailbone and feel the energy gathering in your lower abdomen. Notice any difference in the feeling of your legs. Maybe your legs will feel lighter or warmer and the sense of vibration may increase. Try to relax your muscles and allow energy to hold your body in posture two. After a few minutes, drop your feet and relax with comfortable abdominal breathing. If you can, cross your legs, opening the hip joints and gather energy in posture five. If this is difficult, continue to breathe with your knees bent and feet on the floor. After breathing exercise, it's important to rest and relax in order to recover and gather energy. Take as much time as you can, feeling the body breathe and relax. This is also a great time to meditate and become more aware of your internal condition. With continued practice, you should notice that your body feels more energized, less tense, and your mind feels more focused and relaxed. Stretch your body gently, especially your shoulders, hips, and back, and slowly sit up, crossing your legs comfortably. Take a moment to breathe and feel the difference. Thank you for practicing together. My name is David Driscoll with Body and Brain. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you like this video, please hit like and share it with somebody who could use a little breathing practice to take a break. Take good care of yourself. We'll see you next time.